This is Pat Walker, Mission Winners, doing an overview review of the max list stocks and the major index ETFs. As the previous video pointed out, it's good to systematize. Get things organized. Save time. We all have a limited amount of time. Let's use it wisely. One of the best things we could do, take a look at the major index ETFs. It tells us what to focus on, but also what to avoid. Here we go. Spiders hanging high. Look at that, near highs, bouncing off the 21 EMA and through the 8 EMA, near highs. Good to see, S&P 500 is good. Leveraged one, SSO, same situation, everything's fine. NASDAQ, even stronger. Look at this, a little choppier here. Look at this nice base form right here. Take that out. Look at the volume that came into it on Friday. That's a nice channel. NASDAQ 100, big technology stocks. QLD, NASDAQ 100, big technology stocks. Locked on it, small cap. Small cap stocks, what does this tell you? Stay away. Small cap, leveraged, what does it tell you? Stay away. Mid cap, what does this tell you? Stay away. This one focuses on the max list stocks. Some max list stocks are doing good and others aren't. Something to be aware of, which is what we get to next. What's the max list doing? Here we go. Apple looks fine. Possibly bouncing off the 21 EMA. Good to see, near all time highs. There you go, max list stock. Amazon. What does this one tell you? Stay away. By the way, you can say there's nothing to do with it. That's true. We had a buy right here and we bought more right there and rallied it up. Here, this should be go, goes like that. There you go. Buy there, buy there. Off to the races, sell into strength, which is what we love to do. That's a good game. All right. And it's good we did because guess what? You married the stock. You got a problem. Alibaba. Bye bye. Baidu. Bye-bye. Facebook, doesn't look bad, bouncing off the 50-day. We like that, max list stock. What does it need though, folks? It's gonna need volume, it's gonna need power to lift off of there, remember that. Google, nice base right here, own lower. It's working, bounces off, look at this, bounces off the rising 21 EMA. You think we're the only people in the world that know about the 21 EMA? No, other people know about it. It lifted off the rising 21 EMA, and look at the volume. People talk with their mouths and vote with their pocketbooks. Did they vote? Yes, they did. That's good to see. You've got a nice shelf here too, by the way. Watch this. It's good to be back. There we go. What's it need to do? Lift through that top with volume and a good market. Goldman Sachs is hanging in there. All right, VIPs own it. Put it there, put it there. Maybe it'll bounce off the 21 EMA. Lock some profits in, you're in good shape. One of the things that we love to do is after a stock's made an extended move, if it starts to reach a pausing portion, a position or action, sell some into strength. That guarantees a profit, but don't sell at all. Nothing is more frustrating. Maybe I'm harping on this, but I gotta tell you this. Has anybody listening to this ever had a stock run up and they sell it all and say, that's a great gain and I'm done with it. And the thing pauses for a bit and keeps on going and you can never get back in it. That is maddening. That is why we ride trends for as long as possible. MasterCard, that's not charging ahead. Microsoft, we're in Microsoft from lower here, base in here, and it's rallying up. Look at this, look at that nice move. Good entry in trends pay. This is the 50 day, this is the 21 EMA. Do you think we're the only people in the world that know about the 21 EMA? To a degree, it can become a self-fulfilling prophecy for stock price action, and it did. Look at that, gaps down to the 21 EMA. There you go, that's how it works, well done. Netflix is starting to lift up. This is the daily, here's the weekly. And I'll pull that down a little bit. Perhaps it will go across these tops. But what's it gonna need? I want you all to think about this. How's the volume on that bar? And it's really simple. A fifth grader could sit there, maybe even a fourth grader could say, gosh, it looks like it fell on heavier volume. Looks like they were selling there. Same thing's true with this bar and even more on this bar. But now look at this bar. Now let's refresh this to make sure this is right. I was up in the mountains, there we go. It needs to push through that line on heavy volume. And there's some tails up here. There was a seller up here, there was a seller here, a seller here, a seller up here, a seller up here, and a seller there. What does that say? There's selling pressure in this stock. It's gonna to need to push through that spot and it's gonna to need to do it on volume. There you go. Also factor this into the equation. Took a lot of power just to get near the pivot. Used a lot of energy just to get to 
towards the launch pad. NVIDIA, look at that. Looks good, like the base. Everything's great. Look at the volume, ready to rock and roll. Square, sold it, made money. It's just flopping around here. It needs to live through here, not the cleanest and simplest pattern. Tesla, there's just nothing happening here at this point in time. It needs to lift off this, these moving average, the 50 day and the 200 day with volume. Twitter, there's nothing going on, folks. Move on. You can tweet all you want. It ain't going to help it for right now. Visa, nothing. Those are the maxless stock, the big name stocks. And in, if I wasn't talking, that's a two minute exercise. But I wanted to explain things to help you to know where is potential candidates to make money. Anyway, we have a plan at Mission Winners and it works. Hope everybody's doing well. Let's get ready and run some screens and see if we can find some stocks. And it's good to be back.